Hey everybody, so the World Cup is happening and I'm really excited. I've been watching a lot of the games, um, just pretty much any game that I can get my hands on. Thank you ESPN3 and thank you uh, to this wonderful university that has free access to ESPN3. Oh yeah. We're really excited about how well the men's team has been doing. Love, love, loved Clint Dempsey's goal in that first game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you know what? I will take a 1-0 loss to Germany. You know, widely considered the best team in the world, and we held them to one goal. That's something to be proud of, believe it or not. Um, now, the game against Portugal. I was upset. I was really upset. Like, my wife compared it to her reaction to the infield fly rule against the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, that... We're just not going to talk about that. I was upset, but not because we tied. There's a lot going on about how uh, in soccer, soccer is a bad sport because it has ties. That's people looking for reasons to complain. You know, I thought uh, with Keith Olbermann, you know, I saw a couple of clips of his MSNBC show, and I'm like, wow, this guy is an insufferable know-it-all. I can't stand him. And then he got a job with ESPN, uh, and I thought, you know what, maybe I could... Maybe I could listen to him talk about sports. Nope. Uh, He posted a video that's been making the rounds recently about how uh, soccer is bad because it has ties. And if the best outcome is not a win but a tie, then the sport is broken. And blah, 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 blah. Okay, yep, yep. Keith Olbermann is still Keith Olbermann. He brings up an interesting point. You know, what's the point of a tie in soccer? Why can't we just play 15 minutes of overtime? Why, because it's the first round, do we not play to find out if there's a winner? On the one hand, I can see the point. But on the other hand, why does there have to be a winner? It's a round robin with four teams. You're You're not trying to knock out the other team. You're just trying to prove that you're one of the best teams in the group so that you can advance. It's not about, it's not necessarily about winning or losing. It's about proving your strength as a team. Teams can be evenly matched. You know, in, in soccer, it's not unheard of for two teams to play 90 minutes and score no goals. Or maybe even just one goal apiece. That's not unheard of. That's actually very common. What's wrong with a tie? Why does there have to be a winner and a loser unless you're in a tournament setting, which is what the World Cup is which is what begins in the World Cup this weekend, it begins the elimination rounds where you actually do need a winner and loser. And I understand that. They will go to overtime and penalty kicks for that, but for the time being, they don't need winners and losers. They just need a general idea of strength. Why not a tie? Why can't two teams be perfectly evenly matched? You know, like like, like with Germany and Ghana, Um, but not us and Portugal. And I'm ticked off about that game, uh, for, for, but not because, not because I'm morally opposed to ties. The problem is we should have won. The problem is we should have won, but we stopped playing for 30 seconds and let them score a goal. <sighs> I'm not going to name any names. But you know what? That's all past. We advanced. We play on Tuesday against Belgium, and I will be watching as much as I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.